It's no longer just textbooks and Scantron sheets in the classroom for these students at the Center for Innovative Teaching in Winder, as this new program places a major emphasis on project-based learning, as well as arts, technology, and agricultural integration. In Georgia, we have kind of this dual, per this dual personality. We have all the technology and movies moving in of one industry, but at the other hand, we're a huge agricultural state, and so um, we have a variety of students that have those interests, and so we should be able to cater to both. With more than 100 fifth and sixth grade students in this magnet program and almost as many on the waiting list, the response for this type of curriculum has been overwhelmingly positive. And it's unique projects like the new school garden that have parents very interested. The thing that I've seen um, when I've taught at places that are where st students go for a field trip, they tend to think that nature is somewhere else, it's not at my school. And so a school garden is a way that you can um, have students be exposed to nature a little bit every day over time instead of it just being a fun field trip that you do every once in a while. The students learned that a lot of Barrow County is actually a food desert and that our students and our families don't have access to local fresh foods as much as they should. And so that became really important to the students and the students started driving our projects towards we should have better access to food. It's a project these students have taken a real ownership of as they design the layout of the garden and are the ones responsible for building and caring for it throughout the year. They are involved in um, building the raised beds and then filling them with soil and we just planted a cover crop out in the garden for the winter time and then in the springtime they'll help till in the cover crop and plant their spring spring garden so every step of the way and then and then eat the garden is of course exposing the students to fresh produce and agricultural practices are just a couple of the objectives for this school garden and the ag in the classroom curriculum i think it has many goals i think one of them is to learn more about sustainable agricultural practices so we're teaching about compost and cover cropping and taking care of your soil as an important part of agriculture. Kids are, in, see, are exposed at this age then, even if it's not their primary interest in life to grow food, which most of them it won't be, um, they will have a more, more of a respect for agriculture and what farmers do and how hard a job it is and, um, and just be more generally, more aware of the environmental issues that surround farming. And this is just the beginning as the school system is hoping to expand this program in the future. In fact, they hope this type of learning will become the norm around the county. It's kind of a, two purposes. One is to grow so that we can grow into our next high school that opens up, um, which is going to be a school of choice that is going to very much have the same approach as project-based learning approach to, to learning. The second one um, purpose is uh, for this, these ideas, these teaching practices to grow into our, our regular everyday Barrow Bold style of teaching. Reporting from Barrow County, I am Damon Jones for the Farm Monitor.